Hey guys, welcome to another tier ranking. Welcome to my tier ranking for directorial debut movies for famous filmmakers. That's a uh, it's a long title. Uh, I'm just gonna say directorial debut tier ranking. These are all directorial debut movies for a lot of really big filmmakers. Some just sort of indie filmmakers, but like their directorial debut was like a really like big hit and a milestone in their career or you know maybe their first movie was the only thing that they did that was good but uh there's a lot more directorial debuts out there but like these are the, like the big ones the top tier ones uh, the ones people talk about and it's interesting that like some of these filmmakers directed like such small films and became like big blockbuster directors and some are the opposite you know <laughs> So here we go. There's a bunch of them on this list, and I'm going to rank them in a tier ranking, S being the best, F being the worst. So, uh, all right, let's, uh, let's get to it. Um, Greta Gerwig, her directorial debut was Lady Bird. When I first saw Lady Bird, really, really dug it, really enjoyed it. Second time watching it, just, I don't know, it just doesn't have that watchability factor, and that's why I gotta go a C for Lady Bird. Uh, Sister Ronan is annoying, but I guess her acting is is good. Uh, I actually like Timothy Chalamet in the movie. There, there's good stuff in it, there's some funny moments here and there, but it just doesn't have that watchability factor for me. Get Out is really good. It's a very good film. It's actually my favorite Jordan Peele movie. I, I didn't like his second movie, or even his third movie, yeah, I know everyone loves Nope. I I, I thought Nope was pretty good. I gave it like a I gave it like a seven, maybe six and a half out of ten. I, I, it's a one time watch. Like a lot of his movies are one time watches, but Get Out's the only one I ever find myself like re watching because it's like got really intense uh, horror elements to it, and Jordan Peele's direction is very good, uh, very Stepford Wives esque, and. Um, I love Daniel Kaluuya. Kaluuya's performance. He's really good. It's, it's a solid, solid film. So is uh, Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. John Singleton, I think this is his best movie. And it was his first. Really great story. A good coming-of-age story about these three friends in the hood. Compton, um, Morris Chestnut, Cuba Good Jr., Ice Cube. All fantastic. Ricky! I love Lawrence Fishburne as well. Really good writing. Just I love these like urban kind of movies and just yeah, really good. American Beauty is also an A tier. It's a really good film. Uh, I know Kevin Spacey, like a lot of controversy with him, but he is really good in this film. And I just love how Sam Mendes did this movie. It's a very inappropriate story, but it ends. You know, it kind of kind of starts off kind of like creepy, but it ends in a positive but then very depressing look it's like it's interesting though um I, I i enjoyed the performances and i really love the screenplay for american beauty and just yeah i think it's a great movie really great film clerks has also got to go an a kevin smith i think this is one of his best movies i think chasing amy it might be one of my favorites but clerks is such a great movie it's a landmark it's it, it's like the independent film people look up to like the budget was so low but it was just such a huge hit and it was just it was funny it was simplistic it was just so enjoyable and it's just so watchable and just i loved what kevin smith did with this movie it's such a great comedy duel spielberg i'm also going a i think duel is a great directorial debut by steven spielberg one of my favorite filmmakers of all time i love the intensity of this it's just a man in his car getting chased down by this trucker and it's really intense it's really compelling it's got a great score and i love that it has the like tv movie sort of feel because it was a tv movie and it's really intense, and I love the the lead performance. I, I love the whole ending. It's just a really good thriller, and just yeah, I really enjoy it. Diner, Diner is a beat. It's a good coming of age story, enjoyable characters, but it's not one I revisit a lot. But it's good. It's a good movie. Uh, what was his name? Barry uh, Levinson did this one. 
Zendiggy New York, I'm going to go see. Um, I, I, I respect it. I admire it. But it's it's not the most watchable film. It's very tedious. It's super dull. And I don't know. Just, I never would ever find myself watching this. I know this is Charlie Kaufman's like directorial debut. If you want to watch other Charlie Kaufman movies that he didn't direct, just wrote. Uh, I'd watch like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and stuff. Uh, I also loved his other film after this, uh, Anomaly. So that was a much better film. But uh, yeah, I, I, I respect the the craft of it, but. Not very watchable. Nightcrawler is going in the A tier too. with a great fucking movie. Uh, Dan Gilroy did a great job. This is like a modern day, like taxi driver kind of movie. Jake Gyllenhaal as Louis Bloom is fucking incredible in this movie. And just, I love it's a, it's a movie about like Nightcrawlers, people filming crazy shit and selling it to like the news outlets. It's so good. Great, great movie. <laughs> This is Spinal Tap Asco in S tier. It's one of the funniest movies ever made. It's one of the like quintessential mockumentaries about a rock and roll band named Spinal Tap. And the movie was so realistic at how it did this style. People thought it was a real documentary. And this is arguably one of Rob Reiner's best movies. And I know like A Few Good Men, Stand By Me, Princess Bride, all great films. But like this is the one that, like, not only just set the way for Rob Reiner, but, it, like, it, like, gave us all, like, other great mockumentaries, and there's so many movies that have tried to duplicate what Spinal Tap did, and then it just never could. And it's just, it's just a laugh-out-loud hilarious movie. <laughs> it's so funny. <clears throat> Alien 3. <sighs> Alien 3. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, David Fincher's directorial debut, probably the only Fincher movie that's bad. Sigourney Weaver's pretty good. There's some interesting, like, creative kills in the movie. There's some cool stuff, but it's it's a bad movie. The story is terrible. What they do with the what they do to like characters like Newt and Hicks is just disgraceful. It, it shits on everything that the previous two Alien films created. And that's what makes this movie such a hated film. Is there potential in it? Sure, but it's a bad movie. It's, it's a really bad movie. <laughs> Terms of Endearment, James L. Brooks. A really good movie. It's a cancer movie, so it's very depressing. But there's really great performances, especially by Shirley MacLaine, who is solid in this film. PB's Big Adventure, Tim Burton's directorial debut, really good film. Like, yeah, Paul Rubens going on an adventure, get his bike back. <laughs> District 9, I'm going to see because I actually like Elysium, Elysium a lot more. Neil Blom Blomkamp has always been a little overrated for me. Um, I know, like, everyone loved this movie when it came out, and I loved this movie a lot when it came out, but... It just never did. I, I've, I've seen this movie like three times. It just, it gets worse and worse for me. And I, I get the idea of what it's doing, like a concentration camp for aliens. And I, I understand, but like the first like 40 minutes is like so fucking boring. It's just like, ugh. And I don't like the ending either, but there's some cool action. Shelter Cole plays good. The visuals are really good. I, I like there's a lot of cool elements and clever stuff, but it's not a perfect movie, like a lot of people think it is. El Mariachi, really good, low-budget action film. Robert Rodriguez did a great job. Eraser Head, respect the craft and the filmmaking. Very unwatchable. Never, I will never watch it again. Same with Badlands. Really respect the craft and the making of what um. Uh oh my god, what the fuck's his name? <laughs> I forget who directed this movie. <laughs> um, Tree of Life guy. Whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> uh, he did a great great job with this movie. Uh, there's some really good performances, really great cinematography, great emotion and atmosphere. But it's a good movie, but it's not like a watchable movie. So, <laughs> Lock, Stock, and Two Smoke and Barrels. Really fun movie. Uh, nothing amazing, but fun film. Enjoyable. Really good dark comedy. Guy Ritchie. The Blair Witch Project, I love. I love The Blair Witch Project. I think it's super, super underrated. 
really love it. I love the low budget feel. I love that a lot of people were like convinced this was like a real movie. Really cool. Uh, I love a lot of good fan theories about the Blair Witch Project as well. Ex Machina. I'll go B. I used to love this movie. Again, it loses its steam a little bit after watching it. I've seen it like six times. Great movie still, but again, it, a movie should get either better for me or stay the same when I watch it more. So, Bottle Rocket was never my favorite Wes Anderson movie. There's funny stuff, good stuff in it, but I'm more of like a like a like a Fantastic Mr. Fox, Grand Budapest Hotel, Moonrise Kingdom kind of guy. But Bottle Rocket's fine. Citizen Kane is S tier. It's it's it's. I've talked so much about Citizen Kane. Everybody's talked about Citizen Kane. Everybody knows what this is. It's like the quintessential great movie of all time. <laughs> um, Vengeance. I'm gonna put it in A. I want to put it in S, but I need to watch it more times to see how much it stands the test of time. Blood Simple is a great movie too. The Coen Brothers, super good film. Very Hitchcockian. And Emmett Walsh is really good as the villain in this movie. Twelve Angry Men, Sidney Lumont, amazing, amazing film. Night of the Living Dead, George A. Romero. It's like the classic zombie movie, and it's still to this day my favorite zombie movie. <laughs> Anchorman's very funny movie. Oh god, Piranha 2. This is James Cameron's directorial debut, and what a garbage B movie this movie is. <laughs> Played Misty for me, it was okay, it's an okay thriller, Clint Eastwood's directorial debut, Reservoir Dogs, really good debut by Tarantino, Say Anything, really great movie, Cameron Crowe, The Maltese Falcon, this is John Huston, oh man, I gotta go ask, The Maltese Falcon is a fucking incredible film, really good atmosphere, really great music, Humphrey Bogart is just the fucking shit in this movie, just love it. Sam of the Night of the Hunter, Charles Lawton's Dark Holy Debut, amazing film. Leaning on the everlasting light. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Uh, this is Mike Nichols, amazing film. It's one of Elizabeth Taylor's best performances ever. Man, a lot of positive ones. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad. I should pick more shitty ones. <laughs> Alright, let's sort these out. Um... I'm putting 12 Angry Men on the top as number one. Then Susan Kane. Then Night of the No. I gotta go Night of the Hunter. Then Night of the Living Dead. It's about all Maltese Falcon. All 10 out of 10. Pretty much perfect films. For the A tier, I gotta go. I'm gonna put Vengeance on the top because it is my favorite film of the year so far. And I wanted to put it in S. So I'll put it on the top of A. Boys in the Hood will be next. Then Nightcrawler. Then The Blair Witch Project, because I love it so much. Then Clerks. Then I go say anything. I love this movie. Uh, then Duel. Sorry, The Duel. Blood Simple. Frigid and Wolf, Get Out, and American Beauty. Yep, all great movies, though. All good. But the B tier, X Machina will go on the top easily for me. Then Diner. God damn it. Then Al Mariachi. Then Lockstock, Two Smoke and Barrels. Anchorman. Uh, Racerhead. Terrence Madeira and Pee Wee. No, let's talk to some more rails. Go there. There we go. C tier. Uh, I'll go District 9 on the top. Then play Misty for me. Then Tanaki New York, Lady Bird, Paul Rocket. There we go. That was my directorial debut tier ranking. These are just some of the big ones. I know there's more out there, but hey, if you guys want to see me do a part two, I will. So let me know in the comment section below. Please tell me what is your favorite directorial debut movie. Let me know in the comment section below. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.